In this live room editing tutorial, I will show you how to edit like Peter McKinnon in Lightroom. Now, if we go ahead and look at Peter McKinnon's Instagram, you can see that he has a lot of travel photos, especially around nature in the mountains and near water. And so he has really moody edits. You can see there's a lot of contrast in his images. He likes to add the blues to the desaturated blues the shadows and has a slight orange as well. And it's just overall it looks really good with his edits. And so today we're going to be recreating this style for one of our images. And before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe for more Lightroom editing tutorials just like this. So this is the photo we're going to be starting out with today. And this is what the final edit looks like. And so I went ahead and made a virtual copy so we can get started with the edit. The first thing we're going to do is bring up the exposure just a little bit to get some of that detail from the trees and the shadows down here. And then bring up the contrast a bit as well since Peter McKinnon has really contrasty images. I'm also going to bring down the highlights and bring up the shadows some more so you can get that tree detail and some detail over here as well. Bring down the whites so that the sky isn't too white and bring the blacks down a little bit as well. You can add some texture and some clarity to get more detail and also add a little bit of dehaze since it's a foggy scene. I'm gonna bring the vibrance down slightly and bring the saturation up a bit so the image isn't too saturated. I'm fixing more of that in the HSL sliders soon. Then moving on to the tone curves, we're going to be doing a S curve. I'm going to start off with making three points in each of the corners. And so this represents the shadows. So I'm going to bring that down. And you can see that the colors are getting a bit saturated, but we can fix that later on. And I'm going to bring up the highlights to get that part brighter. I'm also going to bring up the black point a bit to get that cinematic look. I'm going to bring the highlights slightly down as well. Now you can see that the curve added a lot of saturation and bright colors to this photo, but we're going to be adjusting that later in the HSO. Before that, we're going to be adding a graduated filter and get some of bright points at the bottom to be a bit darker so you can focus more on the subject which is right up here. So dragging that out we're going to bring down the exposure slightly and also bring down the highlights and shadows and also bring a little bit of the saturation down so it's not too prominent in the image. I'm also going to darken the top slightly as well with those same settings so you can get focused on the center of the image right here. So now that we've done that, we're going to be adjusting the colors of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and start by increasing the reds towards oranges a bit and adjusting the oranges towards red. I'm also going to bring the yellows down slightly. And all this yellow that you see, we're going to be adjusting, pushing the greens all the way to 100. So you can have the trees go pure green. And also adjust the water a little bit as well. So we're going to be putting the water towards blue. And also bringing blue slightly towards purple. Bring the purple towards red. And magenta as well. Get up. So now we're going to be fixing all the saturation and the, the colors that you see. So I'm bringing the red down quite significantly. You can see that it's going down in this boat right here. Also going to bring the oranges down as well. Here's the yellows. Now when you bring down the green, you'll see that the Green and the trees significantly went down. So here's how it was before, and then here's after. So I fixed that issue that we had. 
And for the aqua, it's going to take care of the water a bit. And also we're going to do the blue as well, which is also going to help. We're going to bring the magenta down slightly as well. And purple and then the magenta as well. I'm going to fix a little bit of the brightness of the colors, bring red a bit brighter in this boat area, as well as the orange. i can bring down the yellows, make it a bit darker, and the greens as well. Make the water slightly darker as well with the blue and aqua. And decrease the purple as well slightly and it'll be magenta on them. I'm going to add the overall tint to the image through split toning and so this adds color to the highlights and this adds color to the shadows and this will just adjust it to the shadows or the highlights the balance which is so I'm going to add if you press the alt key you'll see that it can preview the color with saturation 100% so I'm going to adjust this over to 31 since Peter McKinnon likes to have the orange in his skies. And then adjust the saturation. I'm not going to go too much because then they'll add too much to it. I'll add it slightly. About 7 looks all right. I'm going to add some blues to the shadows. So if I'm pressing Alt, i move that over to about here. I'm also going to increase that slightly as well slightly more than this but i also have you can see what that did so add some sharpening as well to the end of the image you have it's going to add a little bit and then make it mask it also pressing alt to make it so it's on the edges of the trees and stuff and decrease some of the noise and the color noise as well you can kind of see the image is starting. So I'm going to add a little bit of vignette to get the focus towards the center of the image right here. And so now I'm going to adjust a little bit of camera calibration to fine tune the colors a bit. Bring up the reds primarily, desaturated slightly, bring up the green primary, bring it down, bring down the blues. That you see, so I slightly adjust the colors in the water and the trees to get this final image. Now, this is what our final image looks like. You can see that we have the desaturated blue in the shadows in the water right here, and that slightly orange red tint as well up here. Here's the before. And here's the after. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial on how to edit like Peter McKinnon. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Lightroom editing tutorials just like this one.